welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea and today I have another project pan intro for you. Um, this is one that kind of snuck in under the radar at the last second and I love the person who created it so I wanted to support her. So this is Mari or Patriot Makeup's musical panning project pan. She took three songs from each decade from the 40s all the way up to the 2020s and created prompts for the songs and that's the project. Just appreciate music, get some items that correlate with the songs and just have fun with it. So the way she's doing it is she is picking one song from each decade and panning them that way and then when she finishes a product she'll roll in another song from the decade. I'm going to do it the same way. I think she just picked the very first song from each decade. Most of mine are the first songs from each decade but since I am doing so many projects I needed to be a little strategic in what items I was bringing in so I did jump around a little bit but it she's left it very very open-ended so basically any way you want to do this project is okay with her. She started it I believe on the 2nd and it's going until January 3rd of next year. So I will of course have her linked down below. I know I know Jessica, Misty, Ruth, and Deb are also doing this and then I believe when I was watching Jessica's video there was another panner named Gabriella who I'm not familiar with who is also doing this project. So I'll have all of them linked down below. I will have the Google document that Mari has that has all the songs and prompts on it. And also she created a YouTube playlist with all the songs that I will also have linked down below. So without further ado, let's get into it. I, as I said, I already went through the prompts and I picked the prompts I was gonna work on. I picked my products, so I have them all sitting off to the side. So we're gonna go through the decades and show you what I picked. First for the 1940s is I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry by Hank Williams and that's a cry proof item. And I am going to bring in this Jante Blue Ultra Lasting Liquid Eyeliner because it doesn't say waterproof but it says ultra lasting. It says a 24 hour liquid eyeliner so that leads me to believe that this is cry proof. I am, I'm already using it. This is the liner I've got on today so I uh, I really wanted to join this project, but I'm doing so many. So, and I know in a in a separate video, Mari said that it's strategic to to bring in things that you're already panning or using in projects. So I have a lot of that going on in this one, but so my goal will be to finish this up. I don't know how long it will take to do that. I mean, it's a pretty standard black liquid liner. So that will be my first product. Next for the 1950s is Walk the Line by Johnny Cash and that's an eye or lip liner and you'll have to excuse how grody this looks but this is a lip liner from Ulta Beauty. It's just clear I really don't use lip liners but I have some and I'm already working on a bunch of eyeliners so I figured I'll bring in a lip liner and maybe actually pan one. This is just in the shade clear I, it does have some pretty, I probably have used about half of it already. So this is what is left. So I want to finish that up. I do have, I, I did make a mark on my little tracker sheet. So next update, we will see where I'm at with this, but I want to finish it. That would be nice because it's just sitting in my like little makeup, everyday makeup box and I never use it. So hopefully this will get me to actually use it. For the 60s, the song I picked is Bad Moon Rising by Credence Clearwater Revival, and that is a nighttime item. And for that, I picked my Fleur and Bee Eyes Eyes Baby Eye Cream because I only use this at night. I have been using it for a while. You can see I've, like, I'm one use away from actually hitting jar, so to speak. So I want to finish this up. I only use eye cream at night. I honestly don't think it does much for me and the only reason I have this one is because I got it in a subscription box so I would just like to get it out of my collection so my goal will be to finish that. 
that will, because you don't need a ton of eye cream, that will probably be in for a couple of months, but I will definitely finish it before the end of the project because I've already used probably more than half of it. For the 70s, the song that I picked was Lean On Me by Bill Withers, and that is either an item that a friend gave you or you have a friend pick an item for you, and I went with an item a friend gave you. And I decided that I was going to bring in this Moira Cosmetics Wild and Colors palette that my friend Lisa from Banning, Panning, and Beyond gifted to me. I'm sure you have no, no idea why she thought that I would like this palette, but I've only used it like two or three times. And you can see I've used this shade, this shade, and I believe this shade. So I'm just bringing this in. I'm just going to do it. No pan left behind style. There are 14 shadows in here. So I want to use each of them one time and then I can roll this out, but it's a beautiful palette and I'm very, very lucky to have such great friends who see things like this and are like, Andrea would like that. <laughs> For the 1980s, I had to pick this song first. It's another one by Sadas by Queen. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Fun fact, at our wedding, when we like, after we were married and we were walking down the aisle as husband and wife, we had that song playing. <laughs> so that is an item that's almost gone. And I have this Japanese cherry blossom bubble bath that I've had forever because I don't take baths. But I know... And I don't know why I never thought of this before, but I know that Danny uses bubble bath as body wash. So I'm going to use this as body wash and use it up and get it out of my collection because I'm sick of looking at it. So that is what I'm bringing in for that. Now for the 1990s, the song that I picked is Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Another fun fact at our wedding my husband walked down the aisle to this song, but like um, an instrumental version. So I had I had to bring another one by Sudust and Nothing Else Matters in at the same time because in my mind, they go together. <laughs> but that is an item that you will miss when you're, it is gone. And I have this, this is a 20 gram jar from My Body Bakery. It's a rose water lemonade body butter. This is an Australian brand. They don't ship outside of Australia. I actually ordered it, had it sent to Lisa's house, and then she shipped it to me. And I believe like this whole, they, there was like a lemon lemonade pack that was limited edition. So I can't get any of these scents anymore. Oh, it smells so good. But it's, it's not very big, so I don't think it should take too, too long for me to get through. But I also... I use lotion more than I used to, but I still use it pretty sparingly, so it'll still take me a while, but I will be sad when this is gone because it smells so good. But I'm going to finish that up. For the 2000s, the song that I picked is So Fresh, So Clean by Outkast, and it's an item that makes you feel put together. And I was originally going to go with a mascara, but I already have a couple mascaras open, and I really didn't want to open another one. And I was thinking about it, and I'm like, you know what? My brows always make me feel put together because even if I don't, I mean, there's really not any days when I don't have makeup on, but when I don't have, if I don't have makeup on and I don't have my brows done, like they're very, my brows are pretty thick, but they just look, they just look much more put together when I have powder in them. So this, oh my God, this is embarrassing how old this is. This is an NYC New York color brow kit which I've had for years. I finished the wax off a long, long, long time ago, but the brow powder is still kicking. And this is currently what I am already using in my brows every day. So I figured let's just bring it into a project. My goal will be to finish it off. Um, it's going to take a while. It is, it's pretty like around the pan. It's pretty thin, but especially like up in the back here, where I don't really focus my brush. It's pretty full back there. So, and with brow powder, at least with me, because I don't need to use a lot because I already have pretty thick brows. This is going to take a long time, but I just, I want to use it up and I'm already using it. And I just figured let's bring it into a project and I'll continue using it, but I'll also, 
not be overwhelmed with other products that I'm already painting like 5 million of. For the 2010s, I chose the song Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton, which is not a song that I know, but the prompt is an item that feels smooth or makes your skin look smooth. And I'm bringing in my Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. I use this at nighttime. I am a, I looked in the, like you can't see through the bottle. I took the cap off and shined my flashlight from my phone in there. And it looks like I've used about a third of it already. I think, I feel like looking into it, I was about, well, actually that's less than a third, maybe a quarter. I'm about up here. So this will take a while because I only use one pump, but uh, I really, I really like this stuff. I bought it on the recommendation of Andrea Matiliano and it's really nice and I really like it. And it's, I just want to get some good use on it. Well, get some good use on it. I want to finish it up. And then lastly, for the 2020s, and this is another song that I'm not familiar with, actually. I, it's kind of funny. The, uh, all three songs that she picked for the 2020s, like, I've never even heard of them before. So I'm, I'm really out of the loop with new music, I think. <laughs> Except for, like, very specific genres, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, <laughs> the, the prom that I picked was Pac-Man by the Gorillas, and that is an item you can't get enough of. And I cannot get enough of my Cleona Multichromes. Like, this is by no means all of them. These are just my most recent ones down here. So I decided I'm going to bring these in, and my goal will just be to create a look around each shadow. So I want to use each shadow once, but I also... I don't want to combine them in looks. I want to like focus a look around each one. So this will be in for a while because I'm using a lot of eyeshadows and other projects. And if I'm only using one of these at a time, that's 18 shadows in here, 18 different looks. It's going to be spread out over some months, but I just, I cannot get enough of these shadows. They're so beautiful. Like here, I'll swatch, I'll just swatch the three that I just got because I got a Cleona mystery bag and these three were in it. So this is the shade Tower. I don't know, the shift is just not showing. This is the shade Courtyard. Oh, that is beautiful. And then this is actually the reason I got the mystery bag because they were including one of their not yet released shades and this is it this is called queen's banquet i just i swatched these in a terrible place to show that you can kind of see the shifts on that one so those are my three newest i'm not gonna swatch all 18 because we would be here forever but i want to like i said i want to center a look around each of the shadows and there's 18 so it'll take a bit but I am so glad that I can join in on this project because I like I quote unquote met Mari through Deb and she is just so sweet and so supportive and if you watch her videos she's got a cat that's like always wandering her dogs are playing in the background she even like has her pet chicken make an appearance once in a while and I just I love her she's she's so kind and I could go on and on and on but you should just go check out her channel because she is amazing but I'm so excited to finally be sitting down and filming this because like I said I saw her video like over a week ago but I've had so many project intros why I don't know how long that's been there sorry about that she, <laughs> I've been filming so many Project Pan intros and like that have to go up on specific dates that it, it got me until now before I could film and put this up, but I'm so glad that I finally managed to fit it into my schedule because I really wanted to do it. I wanted to support her. So if you decide to do this as well, please let Marty know so she can add you. I think she's going to have like just people listed in her description box as well of who are doing this, but just to show support 
to a fellow panner. Let her know that you're doing it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.